What up everyone, hope you're having an awesome day, night, noon, wherever it is in your part of the world. Now, in my recent videos, there have been a lot of people asking questions on how to do certain things, how to do this, that, how to mint an item, how to sell NFTs, how to use this in OpenSea or Mintable, how to create a store. I'll be up uh, upfront and honest and put a disclaimer out there. I'm not a guru or professional when it comes to you know NFTs or using Mintable or OpenSea, but when you guys do ask questions, I, I do try and do the research and find out the answers for you and in doing so i kind of you know educate myself just as much as trying to answer your questions so with that said please be conscious that uh, i'm learning just as much as you guys and sometimes i won't be able to answer all the questions just because purely uh, i just don't know them today i want to go through the process of setting up a store for you guys and explain that process on mintable um, i will not go through the whole process because you will see why uh, a lot of people tend not to create a storefront even though it's a good idea to because it can be quite expensive so let's do this you want to hop into your my account click on my profile and you'll see an option straight away to create a store okay so obviously to create a store, the advantages of creating a store, I imagine, is you know, you'll get a unique URL which streamlines the whole process of being able to sell your items. You know, every all of your NFTs will be put into your storefront and people can just it'll be a one stop shop to to see all your artwork. I imagine there's also some benefits when we when it comes to marketing and advertising your storefront. You know, obviously you'll be able to customize and make it look pretty and everything else. Not only that, once you set up your storefront, it technically becomes a smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain. So that is why it does cost money to set up a storefront. But anyway, let's go through the process. Okay, so basic information, what are you trying to sell? Collectible, artwork, game items. So you, you may be aware that a lot of people are selling game items like in user generated game items in for for example games like uh, Sandbox or Decentraland or Crypto Kitties, uh, Crypto Punks, stuff like that. So if you're just selling art, then you just click art, name your store, I'll just do Earthbound, store subtitle. Obviously you want to be creative, right? And, and if you want to stand out and be unique, then you probably want to put something more interesting than making art while making games. So um, store tags, store tags are really important because obviously you want to put tags that are unique to your style of artwork. If you do grime art, if you do Photoshop, if you're doing uh, natural landscapes, if you're doing horror art or you know crypto art, whatever it is, you want to make it easy for people to be able to search your artwork. Okay, so definitely put your tags there that are unique to your style of art and what you're trying to sell. Okay, then you want to upload a photo. I'll just upload my photo of uh, Earthbound, my YouTube site. Uh, you want to put a description here. Obviously, there's a, a method to the madness. I'm sure the strategies around making something, uh, writing something that really pops and resonates with your, your type of audience, you know, depending on your artwork. But yeah, definitely do something short, sharp and simple there. Now, you have the advantage of when you set up your store, you can uh, mint items in batches okay so instead of doing one nft by one F nft and minting them one at a time on the blockchain you they give you um, 50 batches for free now mintable does give you the option to mint more some people may have thousands and thousands of artwork that they just have stored on their hard drive and they now want to upload it as an nft so they can technically do that now it's a one-off price so if you pay 99 dollars you can start batch minting um, 2000 not not as in you only get 2000 but you can always batch mint 2000 times so it's a one-off fee okay so 50 free batches is the default and that costs you nothing now royalty amount you can here you can set the royalty amount of how much you expect on the secondary market so once someone buys an artwork from you and then they sell it to a third person that is considered the secondary market okay and you can get a royalty um, based on the secondary market price so anyway just list it put it 10% hit next and it will just give you a summary of everything you put in just proceed and it will say you're about to send one transaction into the blockchain so that one transaction that you're sending is pretty much the setup of your shop like, like i said once you set up your shop it becomes a smart contract on the ethereum blockchain now you'll see what happens next you hit proceed it'll say blah blah, blah we're creating your store on the blockchain and then it'll come up with this on your wallet on your metamask wallet it'll say 
there is a gas fee of uh, $447 USD. Now, the thing is that um, gas price will fluctuate depending on the price of uh, Ether on the day that you're trying to set up your store. Um, and that is a really big price, okay? I'm not gonna pay that much money, 0 0.29 Ether in gas to set up my store. I'm, I just don't care about it that much and uh, I just can't afford it. So I'm not gonna do that. Does that mean you can't sell stuff on Mintable? No, it doesn't. You can still sell stuff on Mintable, but you're just gonna have to batch, uh, not batch mint, you're just gonna have to mint items one at a time. So you wanna go to my account, my profile, and you wanna create an item. And that's how you would create an item manually, as opposed to chucking everything in your store. Like I said earlier, there are advantages to having a store, but um, whether that advantage outweighs the initial cost, uh, it is obviously up to you how much you want to invest and how deep you are in NFT and uh, how much you value your art. I'm just experimenting, I'm playing around, I'm kind of learning and making videos for you guys, so I'm definitely not going to create a store. So with that said, hopefully that was useful information, hopefully you found that valuable, and if you did, please drop a like and I'll see you in the next video.